Peace everyone, UnmaskArt here, and today I'll be showing you how to create this underwater scene. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the color palette I'm using. The numbers correspond to Luminance Colored Pencil, and I'm coloring on Stonehenge Volume Paper. For those that support my channel on Patreon, the real-time drawing video is available to you now. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, to start off this piece, what I did is I drew a square just to kind of box in the piece in general to give it a nice order. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm using my 171 pencil to create the highlighted spots at the top of the water. These are just kind of blobby, weird shapes. There's no real design here. The next thing I'm doing is I'm using my 162 pencil to outline those blobs just to really create a nice contrast between the dark part of the water and the highlighted top part of the water. Once I blend this out, it will look a little bit better. But don't be worried about this part if you're working on this piece. Just go ahead and outline them and you'll see how it works out later. After I outline this piece, I just go ahead and lay down a nice layer of the 162 pretty much three quarters of the way down the page. There's really no need to go all the way down the page because as you go down, it's gonna get darker and darker and this color is just gonna fade away into black. Once you have a nice layer of that color, you're going to switch to the 159 pencil and you're going to kind of create a nice gradient about two thirds of the way up and then all the way down to the bottom of the paper. You want to get a really nice layer of this and then you're going to switch to your 009, the black pencil, and you're going to rework the gradient all the way down to the bottom and really try to create the darkest black at the bottom. Since we're going to be blending this out with odorless paint thinner, you're not really going to have to add too much pressure to the paper. You're going to just want to layer softly and you'll have this kind of grainy look up until the point you blend it out. Now here I'm going through with my odorless paint thinner and my number 8 round brush, the same brush that I always use to do this and I'm just blending everything out. You can see that the light blue and the dark blue have become really contrasted and it really started to look nice at this point. When you are blending this out, you really want to stick to the horizontal brush strokes. This is going to help reinforce the texture and the motion of the water. You don't want to create any vertical brush strokes because it will disrupt the flow of the water. You can kind of play around with how much you blend at this point because you'll notice at the bottom where it stays a bit more grainy before I blend it out a second time, it actually creates a really nice kind of reef ground effect that if you liked, you can actually keep. But I go ahead and I blend the rest of it out. After I blend it out, I switch back to my 171 pencil just to boost the highlights a little bit in the top. And then I also use my 162 to kind of help build the contrast a bit more. After that, I switch to the 159, which is a really dark blue, not black, and just kind of reinforce the gradient from the top to the bottom of the page. I want those colors to be really smooth and gradient really cleanly. The next thing I do is I use my 002 pencil, which is a really light blue, and I just kind of hit up the highlights a little bit. The next thing I do is I, off the side of my paper, I mark my vanishing point for my light source, and then I use my straight edge and the 001 pencil to create the light rays coming in through the water. And then I use the 001 just to boost the highlights near the top, and down towards the bottom, I use my 162 to kind of help fade the white lines away a little bit. In the video, the white lines show up a bit harsher than what they actually look like. So when you do this, you want to keep your lines a bit softer. And what you can do is you can use your brush to blend them out into the blue a little bit better. But like I said, in the video, it kind of shows up a bit harsher than what it actually is. The next thing I do is I take my white pencil and I start drawing my little fish. This is At this point is when I use the 729 color, which is a dark green. And the reason I'm using dark green is because if you mix yellow and blue, you get green. And so this is actually a goldfish that I'm drawing. So the goldfish is going to have a really green tint in the shadows because of the gold color of the fish. 
I didn't want to use any yellows or anything like that. I wanted to keep this piece pretty simple. So I just kind of drew kind of a ghosty outline of the fish with a bit of highlights on top. The next thing I do is I use my circle stencil to create the bubbles using the white. Then I just shade them a bit with the black and highlight them with a little bit more white. Alright everyone, here is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Remember that if you'd like to see the real-time video, to head over to my Patreon page. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.